It is the 9th of August 2017 and that can mean only one thing. It is time for Boruto episode 19, Sarada Uchiha. It's time to get sad about dance. Man, that is, a, that is not a good tagline. I should really think of scripting these episodes. And because I'm really late recording and really want to play some Lucio Ball, this is going to be a very quick review. It also helps that not a large amount of things happened this episode. In fact, the whole episode could really be summed up as Everyone is having fun with their dance, except for Sarada, who doesn't have a dance. Well, she does. He's just not around, I guess. Although, actually, the whole episode and the whole review of this episode could actually be summarised in this screenshot. Which isn't to say it's a bad episode or anything, it's just very much about Sarada being sad that Sasuke is not around. For the most part of the episode, that's kind of just the theme of it. She goes to talk to someone, they're doing something with their fathers, but Sarada can't, so she moves on to the next person, who also happens to be doing something with their fathers, and then she moves on again because she doesn't have a dad, and she is upset. I'm maybe underselling this a little bit. She does have the whole thing with the Sharingan maybe activating. That's pretty cool. And we get to see a bunch of Chocho, which is always a plus. I do really like Chocho. And talking about Chocho, we finally get to see her mum, who I cannot remember the name of. But I remember she was one of the Raikage's crew around the uh, fourth great ninja war. And she was pretty cool. I think she was a little stern. And it's nice to see that she hasn't changed in that. She's still pretty cold in terms of personality. Why she married Choji, I will never understand. Oh, wait. Did he save her during the war or something? Wasn't there a scene where Choji helped her? Or am I just making that up in my mind? I'm really not sure. And man, that thing about Karin maybe being her mother was interesting. I don't think that's where they're going to go. Because in the ending animation, there's that scene where she thinks she sees Karin and Sasuke. But when she gets near her, she puts on her glasses and sees there's actually Sakura and Sasuke next to each other. So I think that's an intentional red herring. And this also marks the start of the Shinden arc, I think, maybe. As I said previously, I'm not really in tune with the Naruto Boruto fandom, per se. I occasionally read comments and stuff on episodes, but I don't know, I don't use forums and stuff that much, so... Who knows, maybe the manga's ahead? Actually, if anyone knows where the manga is in relation to the anime, let me know in the comment section below. I'm probably not going to start reading the manga just because I kind of like to watch currently airing anime and read currently published manga legally, as it were. And I don't think there's actually any legal way for me to read Boruto. So I'm holding off on that for now. And that segment at the end is pretty cool with the hooded guy attacking Sasuke in the forest. I think this is where the Shinden arc is going with Sasuke fighting the Otsutsuki people. At least, I think so, and this will probably lead up to the tune-in exams and then the big fight that happened in Boruto the movie. And that about wraps it up for my analysis of episode 19 of Boruto. It's time to discuss next time. Next time, a weird white-haired guy with a sharing gun attacks Sarada or something or other. Naruto mentions taking her and Chocho to see Sasuke or something, which is kind of cool. And that about wraps up my episode. Sorry it's been so short, but honestly, I'm really late making this, so I'm really underprepared, and I don't really have much else to contribute anyway after watching the episode. As I said, it was kind of 15 minutes of Sarada being sad that Sasuke is not around, and then 5 minutes of little plot points of the Hulu who is carrying her mum, and ooh, look, Sasuke is fighting someone. It's a build-up episode, and, you know, that's fine. Not every episode is going to be really intense. And I did kind of find this one a little emotional. The whole scene with her and Sakura behind the sheets and stuff when they're trying to talk to each other but they're not seeing eye to eye. That was actually quite a nice little touching scene. And that about wraps up this episode. As always, if you do want to watch more of these episodes, then I've made a playlist that'll appear at the end of the episode. Of course, if you subscribe, you will be notified when I put up a new one. So don't feel obligated to subscribe. As always, a like or a dislike would be very much appreciated. Not so much the dislike, but then, you know, if that's how you feel, I don't begrudge you for doing that either. And as always, if you do want to comment and let me know what you think of my reviews, or just my voice, then leave a comment, and I will try my best to reply to you. Don't worry, it's not that hard. I get like three comments every five videos. And talking about videos, if you guys like Gundam, then check out the start of my series, Going Through Gundam. I put up part zero, which is explaining how I'm watching the Gundam series. And so far, the video's doing really well. Look at that view count. It's doing fantastic. 
one of my best videos. So until next time, goodbye.